Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Where's videos. And today we're looking at how to solve uh, linear systems of equations graphically, level two. Okay, so let's begin. All right, I'm gonna take a look at number seven here. And what I wanna do, zoom in just a tad here. And what I wanna do is graph each one of these. And once I graph them, um, I'll see where they cross it, and where they cross is the solution to the equations. So I'm going to start with this first one, with the y-intercept of 3, and the slope of negative 1, 2, where I come down 1 and over 2, down 1 and over 2, down 1 and over 2. I can also go up 1 and back 2, up 1 and back 2, because that's the slope, up 1 and back 2. Okay, so this is a straight line, and it's going down because it's negative. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line for that equation. So that's the line for y is equal to 1 over 2x plus 3. Pretty big circle. Alright. So now I'm going to do this one. But as you can see, it's not as easy to graph because it's not in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to rewrite it over here and put it in slope-intercept form. Okay, and I talked about that in a previous video. So all you got to do is subtract 3x on both sides. That'll leave a negative 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. Since the 10 is positive, I'm making it plus 10. Now I'm divided by negative 2. And y is equal to negative divided by negative is a positive. 3 over 2 doesn't simplify or reduce. Bring down the x here. 10 divided, well, positive divided by negative is negative. 10 divided by 5, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now that I have that, I'm just going to graph this. I'm going to go to, it's in slope intercept form. I can do rise over run and everything here. So I've got negative 5, and I go up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. Up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. Up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. So now i got that line that I'm going to draw. Oops, let's see if I can fix that. And where they cross it is my answer. Right here. So that point is 4, positive 1. So that's the answer. Alright, let's take a look at another example. Okay, so on this one, you have a uh, the fractions here. You got to be able to tell since this is solved for y, that this is the one that's in y intercept form, slope intercept form, and it has a slope of one. And to make it a fraction, I can put it over one. So to graph that, I'm just going to go to negative five. Okay, and I go down one and over one, down one and over one. I can go also go up one and back one, up one and back one. And you can see that it's going down, so the, because the slope is negative. Okay, so I've got that line drawn. Now I'm going to do this one here, but it's not in slope intercept form, so I got to put it in slope intercept form. So I got 3x minus y. It's equal to 1. I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. That's going to leave me with negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 1. And I got an understood 1 here, so I'm going to divide by negative 1 all the way across. That's going to leave me with y. 
is equal to a positive 3x and a negative 1. Okay, so my slope is going to be 3 over positive 1. And I'm going to go to negative 1 on the graph. That's the y-intercept. And I am going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. I could also go down 3 and back 1. Okay, and then that's going to allow me to draw a line right here. And what it cross it is your answer. So it crosses at negative uh, negative one, negative four. And that's it. And that is solving linear systems graphically. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Webb's videos. Have a nice day.